Hello there, my name is Vince. This is hopefully going to be the first in a series of videos where I attempt to show the Linux terminal uh, command line some love. I plan to highlight some tips and tricks for newbies, intermediate and maybe even advanced users alike. Uh, but first, let me start by issuing this little disclaimer, albeit my excuse. I am by no means an advanced Linux terminal guru. Far from it. I have no formal IT or programming training. This is essentially me learning along with you all. Uh, I firmly subscribe to the philosophy of see it, do it, teach it as the best way of learning for myself. Now, I love using the Linux terminal, but I kind of get why some people might be afraid or shy away from it. I've learnt that it is certainly, well, it can be certainly more efficient and perhaps even easier to use uh, for many tasks. Although not all tasks, well, at least for me anyway. So I guess there's a time and place for terminal and graphical user interface tools uh, alike. Um, so hopefully some of these tips I'm going to highlight with my videos will make you more proficient as well as have more fun and feel confident with the terminal. Uh, now if you are very very new uh, as a user and need some help with terminal basics I, there is this great tutorial uh, here uh, that I found uh, from Ubuntu uh, I've linked it uh, below uh, in the description. This video uh, will be about the sudo bang bang command uh, or sudo double exclamation mark and also more about just the bang bang in general. It um, actually kind of reminds me of an old movie, Sudo Bang Bang. I tried to find out why the exclamation mark uh, when used in terminal or in scripts in Linux is called a bang, but I wasn't really successful uh, in finding out much about it. If anyone knows, please leave me a comment. Uh, now, for the sake of expediency, and I guess because it's just fun, I'm going to continue to refer to an exclamation mark as a bang. So, basically, what a bang bang is, is that it refers to the command that you last ran in terminal. And I suppose the easiest way to see this is via a demonstration. So let's just bring up a terminal uh, and here I'm showing you all this in a virtual machine running MX Linux 19 uh, but of course the beauty of using terminal to manipulate your machine is that it will largely translate across most if not all Linux distributions whatever you're doing. So let's bring up the XFC terminal from MX Linux. We'll make that a bit bigger. Now of course many of you uh, will know that if you wanted to know what your last command in terminal was you could simply use the up arrow. In my case it was the ls command and of course you can then edit this command or rerun it again just by using the arrow keys. Uh, what's powerful about a bang bang is that you can then take this last command uh, and use it within another command and run this new command. 
and probably the most commonly used way of doing this is with a sudo bang bang what this allows you to do is if you ever run a command and then realize that it needed super user permissions you simply forgot to put the sudo in front of it well you don't actually need to type sudo and that entire command again you can simply do a sudo bang bang which again represents the last command that you ran uh, and go from there so we're going to use an example to demonstrate um, and this is just an example because uh, most people wouldn't really forget this but if you were if I was to run an apt uh, update command it would of course error out because we do not have super user permissions however if I was then to uh, run a sudo space bang bang it will now replace my bang bang with apt update because that was my last run command now watch and see what happens it's asking for my password and apt update ran successfully uh, let's try in another example um, so say you were needing to edit a file such as configuration in your root file system um, the example I can think of is maybe let's do a nano text editor slash etsy slash hosts of course you will be able to open the file but it will message you as saying that this file is unwritable because you did not open the file with super user permissions and if I try to edit it and save it control O it will give me an error let's get out of this again using the bang bangs we can say sudo space bang bang it will bring in my last command which was nano etsy hosts open now I can edit my host file away so if I was to say put an IP address and the uh, name of a machine try and save the file control O there you go it's worked you can also use a bang bang by itself what this will do will run the last command for example so my last command we all know was sudo nano etsy hosts if I simply do a bang bang there you go it's run that last command again and we can see we did manage to save my changes successfully uh, this is very useful if you need to run multiple tasks repeatedly now there are also many other ways you can use a bang in terminal uh, as you can see from this right up here uh, the one I want to have a look at is this one you can actually use a bang bang and an asterisk to pull out the argument that you used for your last command and insert that uh, so that you can use it in a new command uh, and let's have a look back at terminal to demonstrate how this works so one of the uses of a bang bang with an asterisk that demonstrates how powerful it is uh, if you for example want to use the same argument 
in multiple different uh, subsequent commands, you can quite easily do it and save yourself a bit, a fair bit of typing at the same time. Uh, let's have a look at an example by creating a uh, a, a file uh, with uh, nano. In this case, let's uh, put it in our documents folder and we'll call it a test file. And so this is a test file. We'll save it and exit. Now what if I want to quickly go back and have a look what's inside that file. We can simply use our cat command with a bang bang asterisk. Now this will pull in the documents slash test argument from our previous command and replace that into the bang bang asterisk. Watch what happens. There you go. And you can follow this up with other commands. Say, for example, now I want to remove that file. We can just do nrm bang bang asterisk and it should be gone. To check, let's do an ls, bang bang, asterisk. There you go. So in the three of those commands above, because we were running them sequentially, we've saved ourselves needing to type the entire documents slash test path each time we needed to run each of those commands. How's that for neat? There's plenty more to learn, uh, but I'll leave it at that for today. I'll have the links for uh, these websites uh, down below in the description. What I reckon is the best thing to do is to just dive in have a play around and just practice what you learn until it becomes a part of your workflow. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please, please leave them down below.